Hi, I'm David Tuvison. I'm a professor of cancer research at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory and the director of the Cancer Center here. I also serve as the chief scientist of the Lesgarden Foundation for Pancreas Cancer Research. This year, I'm proud to be the AACR president. The AACR grants program is a growing part of our portfolio to support uh, cancer research and to attract new people to the field and to enable collaborations across institutes or even across countries. Over the last 20 plus years, we have invested uh, substantial amounts of resources in almost a thousand projects by now. And these projects play a very important role in getting people to the first step oftentimes in a topic. Uh, I was actually lucky enough to win an AACR grant as my first grant. The AACR PANCAN Award really was a springboard in that when I went to the award ceremony, I met all these other people and I, they were excited to meet me, and, but I was probably more excited to meet them. Um, and that kind of motivated me that maybe we were really on the right track. And uh, some of them actually even helped me put together a bigger portfolio to apply for an NIH National Cancer Institute R01, which I did, I don't know, 11 months later. And that grant was funded. And then it was off to the races after that. The original AACR Career Development Award that I received was to generate the first mouse model of pancreatic cancer. And the approach we took was to change the genes in a mouse so they reflected the genetic mutations you found in a pancreas cancer tumor. It's easy to say that. It's, it takes some time to do that, to actually generate uh, an animal that has exactly those mutations in it. One of the issues when you develop a new model is what do you call it? And so we came up with a very simple, probably overly simple way to describe the mouse model, which is KPC, which stands for KRAS P53, and in this case C means CRE. Because we created this animal model, we could then ask really fundamental questions about pancreatic cancer, like why is it so hard to treat patients? And we discovered that drugs don't get delivered into the tumor very well because the blood vessels in a pancreas tumor are smashed shut, they're compressed. And so the tumor is very pale and hard and drugs can't penetrate, just like you can't you know, stick a needle into an ice cube, same problem. And that observation really stimulated our own laboratory and many other laboratories to figure out ways to get the drugs into the tumor better. We now are working on why is it that the tumor is, acts this way, and it's that way because the microenvironment of the tumor makes a, a gooey substance that compresses the vessels, and the cells that make the gooey substances are the fibroblasts. And so again, the original observation in the KPC mouse has become you know, a series of additional observations. And these observations have led us to this kind of, I guess, general concept of what pancreas cancer is. It should provide enough people with enough of a start so that they can make their discovery on something new about pancreas cancer, maybe a novel therapy, perhaps a way to diagnose the cancer early, maybe get an immunotherapy that can handle pancreas cancer, you know, for example, or a targeted therapy. And uh, it, it's been, you know, I wouldn't have expected to be talking about this model, you know, 25 years later. You know, I would love for us and anybody around us to come up with some better therapies and some better diagnostics. I think it's very possible, actually. But we, we still have a lot of work to do. But we have the tools. We have the tools and we have really great people working on pancreatic cancer. My job is to influence other people to score points in pancreas cancer. That to me is the victory. And I think they can. I think we know enough now to get to that next level. AACR was uh, you know, a door opening moment for me. And I'm hoping that we can also provide those opportunities to many young researchers and physicians entering uh, into, into cancer research.